Hey, what's up everyone? This is AD Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm gonna show you a gameplay with a Typhon, with Taran, but this time I decided to equip free fortifier uh, at this, with this Typhon. And let's see how it works out. In case you don't know, the easy shield of the Typhon is so small to compare, it's small to compare to the other robots like the Bulwark and the Fenrir. With this thing, with the fortifier, it's gonna be really really crazy and on top of that I have some pilot skills that even gives more bonuses to the Aegis shield and let's see how it works out at the battlefield I have the Taran and I have the Techno Atomizer the main focus will be with the Tarans because uh, many of you asked me to run the Tarans and let's see how we do without further talks let's jump into the gameplay okay so we dropped on valley map and I've started with the Atomizer version Let's try to push beacons and then we will bring the Taran, but with two of them, don't forget, we have three fortifiers. You can see the, sh the shield, edge shield, almost we are reaching 100,000 HP. So, it's not like the Bulwark and the... Yeah, it's not like the Bulwark, but still, and I told you this is has a small edge shield. It's not really easy to hit it and to reduce it, so don't forget it. And we will try to focus, uh, like I said, the main focus will be with the Tarans. But we are starting first of all with this. Let's go. Let's see what... Uh, which enemies we need to face. There is a leech there. So this, with this thing, this is a 400 meter range weapon. Not like the Taran, 350. We took out the leech there. We dealt with them. And we, we took another leech. Double kill. Let's see, there is a Hawk there flying we will have to be careful not to expose ourselves let's try to lock down this oak there you go he's gonna be dead in one second there you go even with the lag ability we were able to finish him off so we did the job and this hawk is gonna try maybe it's gonna try to push the beacon so there you go I activated phase shift because I don't want the AG seal to suffer much you know and we, we have uh, the pilot skills that gives us more uh, short cooldown for the phase shift. And in, uh, by the way, this person is really, really focusing me very, very, very hard. Really focused me really, really hard. But it's okay. I just want to show you mainly the Taran version. And yeah, this person is, is gonna shake even his head. You see, he's shaking his head. And usually when people focus on me, guys, just to let you know. I remember names and I'm gonna focus you back so just to let you know that so I hope you are okay with that and I'm gonna focus you back and I'm gonna eventually you will make out so just to let you know and we got a god like even despite the fact that this person focused us and I, I think I'm gonna be dead here but it's okay the Taran the Typhoon with the Taran guys you asked for it I'm spawning here just to make sure they are not gonna focus me and they are gonna kill me yeah by the way guys, if you are new to the channel and you like the content, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel also, turn on the bell notification so you won't miss anything from the channel. You will get notified when I'm releasing a new content and stuff like that. Let's keep going, there is a Ravana. We will try to hit him with this plasma. The Taran, I used to run them a lot of times back in the days. It's an old weapon. So they are still really really effective guys, you, you have seen it now, we just took out this Ravana really really easy. And this person, we just activated the leech mode, uh, he did a huge military blunder so we will be able to deal with him really really easily. With this setup he cannot do much versus us and we even locked him down, he's trying to, you know, to buy himself some time but it's not gonna help. We got him, double kill. And let's keep going. I don't think uh, it will be the smart decision to push the peak on there. We are in a good position. We have three caps. And I think the enemy team, they are... They already, most of them, they gone. I don't know what happened. Six minutes in the game. And most of the, t uh, the enemy team, they gone. I don't know why. It's uh, actually really, really weird. But we are here to do the job. To show the good business, guys. Like always we are doing here on this channel. There is a nemesis. We disable his ability, so the result is a rampage. And you go, just like that. A rampage with the Tarans. So this is not the best weapon, guys. As 
far away from being the top weapon in this game. They, they already they also nerfed this weapon, but they are still really really effective. Yeah, and they are really really cheap to upgrade to compare to other things, guys. And they are really really good, really really good. They, you, you see, you just took out a titan with the tarans, guys, with the tarans. Okay, you just did it. Like I always. Most of the time I, I'm saying that I promise you that we are gonna do, kill at least one titan, so we did it at this. Oh my goodness, since when Ravana is using anti-control, guys? Only here! <laughs> okay, I tried to steal the, the, the kill there, but there we go, it was the first gameplay, it was a quick one. We will do another one, of course, and I will show you some actions with the Tarans itself. I already did... A video with the atomizer and I do that I did a live stream with this thing so make sure to check that out guys yeah, on my channel so it was a quick gameplay like I said let's see the tail of the tapes and let's uh, keep going to the second match to see how uh, we, we, we faced with <laughs> okay we did 1.5 million damage 10 kills one because it was a quick round but it's okay there you go we are starting again with the atomizer techno atomizer again this is, you can say, as the beacon runner, but not really, you know. But this thing, this Falcon is using anti-control. There are two traditionalist Falcon, they are marching forward. It is not good for business, for sure, guys. Traditionalist Falcon can be still really, really effective and annoying to you, you know. They are really, really hard to take down. So you need the Hawk, of course, and maybe the Sonic weapons, Titans, but... They are starting with the traditional Falcon, so it's not really, really, it's not good for us, so. But we will try to do our best, of course. It's not an excuses, we are fighting every time, with no excuses. We lock down uh, this Falcon, it's using lag ability, but we did it. Let's do some damage to him, traditional Falcon. We can do a lot of damage to him, this Atomizer, we do have... I believe we do have the SAM pilot, the new SAM stone pilot. So the uh, the weapons they take longer to overheat, three seconds more. So if you don't know, I also did a video about that. So be sure to check that out. We have a lot of different stuff, a lot of videos. We are covering all the new things, the all the new cool stuff on this channel. You will be able to find out everything, guys. So be sure. Uh, to check out all the the things and all the videos guys don't miss out this the new stuff so this thing we will we'll try to to deal with this blitz he was trying to avoid us by using the cover and the other stuff and we did the job he had a low hp so eventually there, there is nothing he could uh, there's nothing he can do you know to save him himself i mean <laughs> This tradition is Falcon is still alive. I cannot believe it, guys. So we are still alive with the Atomizer, guys. So don't worry, we will show you more sequences with the Tarans. I know I told you before the main focus will be the Tarans, but this thing is also really, really crazy. I know most of you, you still have the Tarans, and the Tarans is a much cheaper version. And it's really, really effective, guys. Of course, Atomizer is the better version, but. Uh, I told you that the main focus will be the Tarans and you will see more gameplay with the Tarans and this Atomizer is still really crazy, I'm telling you. This is probably the best build, in my opinion, this is the best build for the Typhoon. Let's see if we can deal with this errors, I'm not sure we will be able to do to do this, but yeah, we did it, we did it. We triggered his last turn, we dealt with him, we have four caps and I think we, we can push, we have the right to push you know we have four caps and we are, we are doing really really good job which is the uh, again lag ability by the way okay uh, yeah yeah lag ability is really, really killing this ability of this robot and this Fenrir came out of nowhere and it just killed me really really easily so overall it was a decent performance with the typhoon with the atomizer but and don't forget we had we used the fortifier so it's also i'm showcasing you the typhoon with three Maxed out fortifier and it's really really insane guys. It's really really crazy. And I will show you two sequences with the Typhoon with 
Tarans, okay guys? Because you asked me to run the Taran on the comment section below and I will show you more gameplay with the Typhoon Tarans. And again, we have three fortifiers on this screen. Let's see how we do. We are facing, I think we are facing a full squad, USSR, yeah? Like almost, like uh, always, yeah? Usually we are facing, this is the right thing to do, this is the right thing. To face solo versus a squad. This is War Robots for you. So, but uh, yeah, we are fighting. We don't care. We are fighting versus everything, even with the full squad. And this person is trying really, really hard to kill me. But we are here. We are here. We dealt with him. We are here to fight. We are showing them the good business, even though they know it's unfair gameplay. But I don't care. I'm showing you that you can fight versus this kind of stuff. And we just, we just disable this Hawk ability. We kill them very easily. And believe it or not, we have four cups. But I don't think we are going to win it because we are random versus squad. So eventually they will push big cones. And they have, they are the better team because they are the full squad. You know, most of the time, most of the time full squad, they, they're with maxed out stuff and maxed out gear. Maxed out everything, even the drones they are maxed out. In tier 4, in even not uh, really, really a big difference between the battle rack account that I'm using here versus the, the stuff they are using. But uh, anyway, this is not the story here. The story here that we are fighting this is them with the uh, old setup, outdated setup, and we are actually really, really doing very well. We are doing a lot of damage to them. With the plasma, with the boom, boom, boom setup, <laughs> just like Redeemer, because it's also plasma setup. But we are doing the job. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. We got a double kill with this thing, the Typhoon Taran. We have a tear on our side. We try to benefit from his healing ability. We have Ravana here. Let's do some damage to him, and we will try to steal it. There you go. We dealt with him, we got a triple kill, we tried to get this Hawk, oh my goodness, this is a tier 4 healing microchip for sure, I'm telling you, you see the amount of healing he used, he regenerated to himself, this is really really hard to get this thing guys, it's really really expensive, just to let you know, I don't have it here on the battery account even, this kind of stuff, this is really really crazy, I'm telling you, but anyway, do the job try to get this hawk there we locked him down disabled his ability we got a rampage again with the taran versus a full squad i think almost a full squad they are five i see them and there is another nightingale really really likes 80 gaming he's want to focus him very hard and he is trying very very hard but again you see i'm shaking my head just to show them that I'm not an easy target. This is the USSR player. I always fight him. And they, do you know it? If you are watching my channel, you are watching me, watching my content, you know, even versus a full squad, I'm fighting until the end. You know? This is unfair. Just to let you know, unfair gameplay, but still fighting. Still fighting. Not leaving matches. You, you, eventually, we are gonna lose it, I know, but I don't care. We will fight versus them, we will show them that we are here. We are not an easy target, we are not easy to deal with. And also my teammates, they are really, really doing a crazy job here. The random teammates and we even using... There is an Ares, there is a Tear, a Leech, you know. The thing is that they are not the best. I mean, most of the time they are running... These players, they are running the same over and over again. Hulk, the same boring stuff. Nightingale and this kind of stuff. And eventually we lost this match, guys. And this ty this auto just killed my ty uh, typhoon there. This is why I skipped this part. And this is the the, the last sequence with the typhoon with Taran fortified typhoon guys with Taran. Actually, it's we are really really performing really really well. I personally, I am running two uh, two fortifier on my typhoon on my own account. And I am telling you, this is this thing is really it can helps you, you know. But we are running this time 345 here. So if you don't have last 10, 
Last 10 is much, much expensive version to get and to level up, but Fortifier is much cheaper than Last 10. Still really, really expensive, but, but Fortifier is much cheaper than getting Last 10 and to level up. So this is an option for you in case you are wondering. If you want, I also, uh, usually I'm doing my live stream on Tuesday. Uh, I don't know that they say the, you know, uh, 7 p.m. on my time, Israel time. So if you want to see the two fortifier and last 10 version with my typhoon, be my guest. You are welcome. You want to see it. You want to see how, how it performs. You are going to see it. Usually, this is what I'm using right now. So I don't know if I'm going to use it this, the, the next live stream, but I think I'm, I do. I will. Okay. So this time we are using three fortifiers. So this is uh, just to show you how it performs at max level category with fortifiers and the Tarans, they are actually really, really, we are doing a crazy job with them. We are doing even more than I expected to do. Just lock down this invader, big juicy spider guys, for lunch, triple kill, just like that, reloading. And yeah, again, this is not the full gameplay, this is just... Uh, uh, the, the sequence with the Typhon with Tarans. And we did actually really, really well with the Typhon Atomizer. We just got a rampage, we dealt with this Nightingale really, really easily. And I just trying to avoid some of the shots there. And we also have Phase Shield. If the Fortifier, the Aegis Shield is empty or even before, this is depends, it's whatever you like to do. You want to activate Fair Shift before. I, I like to activate Fair Shift before, okay? Uh, also, after, it, it doesn't really matter, just to avoid the danger. That's the thing, the most important thing. And we have the pilot skills that gives us short cooldown for the module, so it's okay. It's not really, it doesn't really make a big difference. So we can deal with this Hawk. We got him there, another kill. We will try to deal with this Falcon to help out the Arthur. We will activate the EMP shot, you know, <laughs> to just to suppress this Falcon. But actually, this Arthur it doesn't really need this thing to, uh, in order to to deal with. There is an Auming. I don't know if I'm gonna do something. This is the him. We will try our best. There you go. There is a tear as well. But I don't think we are gonna survive it, but let's do some damage before I did to this tier. I tried to deactivate his ability, not to give him a chance to activate the physical shield mode. But uh, yeah, he was smart, but eventually we got him. We got him, now we disabled his ability. We dealt with this tier, and this is it. This, it, was, it was a defeat, guys, eventually, but uh, it was the... Fortifier, Typhoon with Tarans and Atomizer mainly with Tarans. Let me know what do you think about the Typhoon with Fortifier. If you have it, what would, would you like to run? Would you like to run, if you have it of course, <laughs> free Fortifier or 2 Fortifier last 10, maybe 2 Thermonuke last 10, 3 Thermonuke, I don't know, Overdrive. Let me know what do you think is the best. In your opinion, what is the best? I personally am running on my account two fortifier and one last ten right now. There is a time that I ran uh, before the two thermonuk and last ten, but I'm not sure 100%. What it's the depends. The fortifier it can be good and also thermonuk it can be good. It depends. It really, really depends. It's a situational thing. It's a personal preference. That's it, in my in my opinion. But two of them, they are really, really effective. Also, the overdrive, of course. And yeah, it's really, really crazy. Like I said, with fortifiers. So like I expected, a good performance, good showcase of gameplay. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Before I sign off, I want to say special thanks to Patreons and members on this channel. If you want to join the good business, support the channel. There is a join button next to my name. If you want to become a Patreon, the link in the description below. Don't forget to join everyone, the official Discord server on AD Gamers channel. Everyone can join, of course. Description below, the link is there. You can find it. 
And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to do hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you won't miss anything from this channel. Fresh, new, brand new content every day. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a good day. Slash night.